Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to look at shifting supply curves versus moving along supply curves. And actually I'm going to start by thinking about movements along the supply curve. It's important at the outset to realize that our supply curve, so that's the actual line here, tells us about the relationship between the price in the market and the quantity that is supplied either by a firm or by the market. This relationship is ceteris paribus, so holding everything else that could affect supply constant. So what we're seeing in the line here is that for all of the possible prices, that's the variable on the vertical axes, what the quantity supplied is for each of those prices, so that's the horizontal axis variable, holding everything else constant. It follows from this that the only time when we move along the supply curve is when there has been some change in price. So for instance, for the supply curve that I have here, when the price is $6, the quantity supplied is equal to six. If we increase the price in the market to $8, this will lead to an increase in the quantity supplied from six to 10 units. And we model this as a movement along the curve like this. We're going to call this an increase in the quantity supplied and it's due to an increase in price. If we go the other way, so decreasing the price, say from $8 to $6, we would have a decrease in the quantity supplied from 10 to 6 units. Again, we move along the curve due to the price change and we call this a decrease in the quantity supplied. So movements along the curve are always due to changes in the price of the good. And that's because that's exactly what the shape of the supply curve is illustrating, the various quantities that are supplied at the various prices. So we can contrast this with shifting the supply curve, which we're going to do if anything else changes, apart from the price, that affects the supply of a product. For instance, we can have a decrease in supply that we present as a shift to the left, say from S to S1. This can be confusing for some students because I've shifted it here and it looks like we're shifting the curve up, which seems odd with the notion that we're experiencing a decrease in supply. But we can think about it like this. For every price in the market, the amount supplied at each one of those prices is now less than it was before. So for instance, at price of $8, at the original curve S, we used to supply 10 units before the shift, but now at S1, we supply six units at that same price. And that's actually true for all of our prices. Due to the shift, now we're supplying less at each one of those prices than we did before. It's important to note the language here. We're talking about a decrease in supply when we shift like this. We wouldn't talk about a decrease in the quantity supplied, that term is reserved for, for use when we move along the curve due to changes in price, as I showed before. Mostly factors that shift the supply curve are going to be factors that affect the cost of production for the firm. In terms of a decrease in supply, increases of the prices of the inputs to production, so if your capital or labor became more expensive, is going to shift the supply curve to the left like I've shown. Basically, if it's more expensive to produce each unit, then for each price in the market, the firm is going to supply less at that price in order to cover costs. If we are considering a market supply curve, we would also get a decrease in supply if firms exit the industry. And again, at every price, we would see less supplied at that price because of those exits. We might also think about or consider other kind of shock events that essentially make it more expensive to produce the good. So events such as perhaps big weather events that destroy crops or infrastructure or products or something. To model an increase in the supply, we shift the supply curve to the right like this to S2. In a similar way to the decrease in supply, we can understand this shift as for every price, now we are supplying more, either from the firm or in a market, if we're talking about a market supply curve. So just checking price of $8 again. At S, we used to supply 10, 
but after the increase in supply, now we supply 14 units. This is applicable for each of the prices. So as a result of the shift, now at each price more is supplied than before. We might see increases in supply if we have developments in technology which has made production more efficient. Perhaps also inputs, so capital and labour, have become cheaper, so firms are willing to supply more for a given price. Lastly, if we're talking about a market supply curve, if more firms enter the market, then for each price more is supplied and we're going to get a shift like this. And so that's it. The take home is that the supply curve tells us for all prices what the quantity supplied is at each one of those prices. If we are changing the price of the good, then we move along the curve and we call it an increase or decrease in the quantity supplied. If anything else happens that affects supply, apart from changes in the price, then we shift the supply curve. A decrease in supply shifts the curve to the left and an increase in the supply curve shifts the curve to the right. All right, that's it. I hope that helps. Please like and subscribe. Hope you guys are doing well.